Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to review for you the new Max Studio Radiance foundation. So I woke up this morning, I didn't plan to wash my hair and I've decided I will review this foundation. So that's why I'm wearing a wig. So forgive the state of me when you see me applying it. <laughs> So MAC, we all know MAC foundation, Studio Fix foundation was like all the rage 10 years ago or more um, and I used to wear it and then I didn't try MAC foundations for years till not long ago, remember I tried the MAC Studio Fix everywhere, all over pen and I really really liked it. So when this new Studio Radiant foundation came out, I thought, oh, I need to try it. And I always remember, you know, after so many years of trying different foundations and I feel like brands are getting so much better with the shades and undertones, MAC seemed to be stuck in the same place and they, they shades and undertones are no good in my opinion. First of all they are back to front so NC is neutral core but in MAC money core means warm really because it's usually with yellow neutral yellow undertones and the W is with pink undertones so it's back to front that always been confusing. I feel like on a whole, MAC shades are all too yellow, all of them. It's so difficult to find the right shade. I remember, I, I think I got the wrong one in this foundation and then in this one I got NC38 and this is quite good. It's not too yellow, this one is a bit more neutral. But for some reason I got NC27 in the new Radiance foundation because I remember thinking NC30 used to be too dark, too yellow so I get NC27, it should be okay. Well, it's awful. How they can call it, they actually call this co color beige with neutral undertones. Let me swatch it for you. I don't know how well you can see it but to me this is so peach. This is no, not neutral at all. It's really, really peachy, leaning apricot. So now, let me just compare it for you with the NC38. So you would say, you would think 38 would be much darker than 27. But that's not the case. The 38 is lighter and this is true neutral with slightly warm undertones, I would say. So this is NC27, this is NC38. How does that make sense? Anyway, I tried this foundation once and I thought, oh my God, this color is so wrong and so awful. So I went to actual store, Mac store, and tried to find another color. I tried NC38 because I thought, well, I like it in this foundation, but it was darker than this. So honestly, couldn't choose a color. I looked at so many colors, all of them were very yellow or too dark or too peach. So I've decided to just review it for you in that color because I'm not prepared to spend more money trying to find the right shade if I don't like this foundation that much. So I thought I will review it, I will check in with you and I will then decide if I like it or not and if I really like it then I might go and try different color. So yes, to me that difference is enormous. Then I tried N37 next to the 38 it was so much lighter and very yellow. So I feel at the moment, apart from this foundation in NC38, I can't really find the color for me. Anyway, um, let, me, let me just tell you my skin type. So obviously mature skin, I have a bit of texture around here, fine lines, 
wrinkles. I am, I would say, normal to combination, which means that I'm not oily, I'm not dry, but throughout the day, sometimes my T-zone goes oily. So what I will do, I will apply it, I will check in with you and then I will give you my final thoughts. So let's get to the demo. Okay, so excuse <laughs> my appearance, but I will stick a wig on and I will be fine. So I've had these um, skin Iceland patches on for about 20 minutes. I don't use them all the time, but now and again I do. So let me do my skincare so you can also see what I use. As usual, Skin Deva Vitamin C, E and Ferulic Acid Serum. And today I am not going to use moisturizer because this is radiant foundation so I don't want too much moisture. But my SPF, which is the Beauty Pie Sunscreen and Primer in one, SPF 50, is quite moisturizing on its own. Um, and I use the Ubayos Beauty Pie Eye Cream. Just so you know what I use under my foundation. And this is uh, just a normal doesn't matter what foundation I use. If my foundation is more on a, you know, drier, matte side or is thicker, then I will use moisturizer, which I've shown you before. I use the Skin Deva moisturizer. So let me tell you what they say about this foundation. This is serum infused foundation with medium buildable coverage and lasting radiant finish. A moisturizing foundation with buildable coverage in 56 luminous shades features a 10% hyaluronic acid so solution to deliver plump, hydrated skin with all-day radiance. Okay, I will do one side with brush and one side with sponge. It's quite thick. The colour is so, so wrong. <laughs> I think I might be able to make it work in the summer when I have more tan. I still have some fake tan, but... Right, um, I find it quite hard with a brush because it is quite thick so let's do the other one with a sponge the other side yes yeah, sponge is definitely easier and it is medium coverage. I would say it gave me the same coverage with sponge as he did with the brush. I might build it up a bit because I don't feel like I have an even coverage with it. So I will use a bit more And just do it with a sponge everywhere. I think the fact that it is such a wrong colour makes it look worse. Okay, I'm not going too close under my eyes. I don't even like it here. I will do concealer there. It is very luminous as you can see. Let me zoom you in. So can you see even with two layers this is not a full coverage. You can still see 
all my discolorations. It looks quite nice. I think if it was lighter, it would look even better uh, because it's so much darker than my own face. Um, it sort of looks like something is sitting on my skin, but it looks nice. It doesn't look cakey. It's just really bad color. Okay, let me do a concealer. Maybe I lighten it up with concealer. I will use the Natasha Denona concealer and I will use the YN6. I will do first the YN9 because it might be too light with this foundation. The contrast might be a bit too much and I will top it off with the lighter so sort of mix it and we will see yeah I think if I had a good colour in this foundation it would be a different story honestly the shade is so important for your foundation to look good as well yeah, the foundation looks really nice. I quite like it, like the luminosity. It's not too luminous, you know, like some luminous foundations can almost look greasy. This looks just nice. Okay, let me set under my eyes. Now, I don't know if to set my whole face with the powder so it gives me lighter finish or shall I do what I always do and set with the Lily Lolo but then I suppose it will give me more coverage so let me just set with normal powder today because I think most of you set your foundation with powder not the mineral powder foundation I'm going to use the Wild and Wet and Wild Photo Focus. It's a, such a good, inexpensive setting powder. I'm using BK Beauty 104. Yeah, that sort of calms it down a bit because it's a light powder. Okay, let me zoom you in again. So oh, this is with the concealer and all powdered. You can really still see things through it. I'm surprised at that, that even though I built it up, it didn't really give me that much more coverage. Okay, so I am going to do my brows, my bronzer, blush and I will be back. So this is what it looks like outside. It's a sunny day but I'm standing in the shade. And then in the sunshine I can't see anything, so... <laughs> and so, so half shade, half sunshine. So, uh... From the distance it looks okay and now I've done everything else it looks fine but I feel like it looks quite patchy here. So can you see what I mean? I feel like it looks patchy, it's not an even coverage but it's not cakey, um, it looks really nice on the face, just doesn't look even but that could be the colour 
because my face is so much lighter than this or is that it doesn't spread evenly I think this side is actually worse and this is the side that I did with a brush than this side definitely patchy I feel like I really need to go over with um, with the Lily Lolo to sort of even it out I would like a bit more coverage from it you know I've got good foundations they have good coverage but are not cakey but if you you are someone that wants medium coverage foundation this is really nice I don't know what you would be like on an oily skin obviously but what I will do I will come back maybe a couple of times throughout the day so I will come back later on and let you know I am back it has been two hours since I finished applying everything so what I was thinking just to see if this will make it better you've seen it what it looks like just powdered I am going to apply the Lily Lolo mineral foundation powder in warm honey it's a bit lighter than my cookie well they are sort of similar but this one is a bit yellow whereas cookie is neutral and it looks lighter so so you can see you've seen what it looks like without but so you can see if this will make any difference see this makes such a difference I like any foundation topped with this because made it a bit lighter and evens it out because it gives you a bit of um, coverage as well. This straight away looks better. Right, can you see now the patchiness is not as bad, still not perfect but this definitely made this foundation look better as you can see this hasn't gone any more shiny hasn't broken up anywhere it's been only two hours but after two hours my oils normally start coming through in a t-zone and if the foundation is going to be going really really greasy at two hours i can already see i will come back a few hours later again and we will see what it looks like. I am back. So it has been six hours since I've applied this foundation. I will zoom you in in a minute. I even went outside with my mirror and had a look at it and I am very conflicted. So as you can see, it looks really good. I've started going tiny bit shiny on my forehead not so much on my chin just a little bit it hasn't moved hasn't broken up anywhere it just looks really good so I am really conflicted so let's start from the beginning the application I felt was a bit patchy but I still don't know is it because of the color I think the color of this foundation was the biggest problem for me so the way it looks it looks very natural even you've seen I've powdered first with the setting powder and then I added the mineral powder foundation and it doesn't look cakey I think if I had this foundation in the right color and I've used it straight away with the mineral powder foundation I would love it so I don't think I've I even shown, shown you the bottle, you know, it's just the usual Mac Studio bottle where you turn the pump to close it and to open it. Quickly, I wanted to show you also a comparison to this foundation. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, which I love. And this color number eight is such a great match for me like right now when I'm not tan and not very pale 
so this is the number eight can you see what a true neutral that is and now let me show you next to it this NC27 the Mac Studio Radiance can you see now the difference and when that starts drying out it's looking more and more peachy and then let me put that NC38 in this in this MAC foundation so just in case you are number eight like me in hourglass you can see the difference so you can see why I can make this work it is a bit lighter and a bit warmer than the hourglass hourglass I would say is true neutral so now you can see why this NC27 does not work at all for me but hopefully that will help you as well especially if you use the hourglass in 8 I actually feel like I maybe should get the NC38 in this foundation and even if it's a bit darker than this at least it's the right tone and I can make it work so the quality of it and the way it looks and sits on the skin is very very nice it's just the color I'm so upset that I didn't have the right color if you like medium coverage nice and radiant foundation you will love it providing that you get color that matches you so I hope you found this review helpful let me know if you've got that foundation what color you have and does it work for you but that's all from me thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye